Hello friends, this is Munir. Um, in this video, I, I would like to walk you through for on how to use the model window extension by Ocean WP. So as a lot of people uh, have been asking for a video tutorial, so I thought why not I should do it. So please excuse me for my uh, bad English, maybe, but I prefer to speak uh, in the video rather than putting the background music as i in my opinion it's more useful still if my accent is not uh, that good so let's do it i'll be creating a new demo site for this video so i'll put i'll click on this try the extension and it will get you to the test drive site i'll just quickly create a new site uh, which will bundle the ocean wp theme with it and the elementor also so i just put my email address and that's it i'll i must get an email pretty soon and here it is um, i got an email you must not be seeing that uh, i'll just i got an email and i got the confirmation link to click and here it is i've clicked it and a new website uh, a demo site has been created so um first uh, here is the extension details you have we have on ocean wp and it says the model window inside your content in models and uh, blah blah uh, you can read that all uh, the link has been provided in the video also and in fact you can go to oceanwp.org slash extension slash ocean dash model dash window so uh, we can create as many models as you want with this extension. Choose your custom width, insert the content, choose your own color, and fully responsive. Here are some screenshots, and um, and also there is a documentation uh, article pro, uh, in the docs section on the Ocean WP site, which you can, which I shall provide the link to, and it it, it is also a good. Uh, a starting point uh, with this extension and any other stuff at Ocean WP, uh, Nick has uh, already written some nice documentation. So please, uh, uh, please always check the documentation, the docs link here for any stuff with Ocean WP. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll we'll go through this uh, article first and uh, and we'll try some other stuff also, hopefully. So let's get started. Okay, uh, my demo site is created and already uh, the extensions, all the extensions have been uh, enabled and I can see this new model uh, window here and model menu here, which is uh, activated by the when I activated the extension, when you activate the extension actually. So you need to go to this and create your model uh, model content first, which will appear in the model window. So this is basically a custom post type. If you're familiar with that uh, terminology, so don't worry about this, uh, this notice here. So I'll create, as you can see here, it says you to, you can create a model. So it, it asks you to go to model and then add new. So we'll do the same. We are on the model and then add new, or we can click on this and we can put the title here the model uh, we can put whatever title model window model content and then we can put the content here uh, whatever whatever we like this i'll just put some dummy content here for now and as you can see there are some model settings here uh this is the custom meta box for the model settings and uh, we can display the title enable and disable the title is by default disabled which you put here right we can display the close button it is currently enabled and we can um, adjust the model width currently set to 700 we leave uh, i'm just leaving uh, all the settings default for now there is some styling settings also we'll play with it a bit later so that's it i put the title put the content and hit the publish button all right the, so the post has been published the model uh, my first model content has been saved i get some info uh, 
quite uh, useful info here in this meta box so this is the id class and full link to your pinwheel model so basically this is very useful when you create a new model content uh model content pose you are provided with a model id class and a full link so depending on where and how you need the model window to appear you need any one of this so let's try uh, to create a page uh, for testing um, i'll just say a test page test page and uh, elementor is already installed so i can see that i edit with elementor so um i'm not gonna use elementor for now just for testing so let's say uh, on this page i put some content um okay i put some content and then let's say uh, here i need a button which will open up my pop-up window or the model window so i'll uh, i'll just copy this complete link from here select click on this and double click on this and put the control c press control c to copy and then i'll come here and go to the text version as i need to put the html code this is basically the html code so here i can see uh, it it uh, links the uh, this is the basically the full link I have we have so let's see how what it does um, I'll publish this page and let's view the page if it's working fine all right so I have the content and I have the link with the text model open model I click on this and you can see that the model window is working perfectly fine beautiful um, let's uh, adjust some settings so oh, first of all uh, you can change the name uh, change the te text which says open model directly from here like uh, um, my 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 model content right so that's easy you you may already know that uh, just covering for someone who knows so this text can be changed right right from here and uh, now let's uh, play with some model uh, settings as you can see we don't have the title here only the only displaying the content and the and this cross button so you have different options here to play with like i can enable the title and hit update and then when i refresh it and open it again i can see the content title appearing here which in many cases you won't need the title be here because this is basically uh, this can be used to for your own uh, for uh, your own uh, purpose to under, uh, to remember what this model content is for because you can create as many model content posts as you want so i'll not use this in most cases so i'll just disable it i can also disable this x icon appearing here then so if you want to then if you click on this if the user will click on the side the model will be closed also so i'm leaving now the the width is a uh, you can adjust the width as you want like this and hit update and the width will be reduced as you can see the width is less wider now uh, as expected now here is a model background image so we can uh, add a background image to the model let's see if i have any image in the library yes i have some images so let's see just for demo i I'll, I'll use this image and and as you can see this is pretty ugly this is quite ugly because uh, this is not um this should not be like this but you get the point you get you can set the background image on the model window um let's play with some styling and see if a model window background is currently set by default it's three 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 but you can change the color to whatever you want it's a nice 
sorry uh, nice color picker here right I can change the color model text color I can change the model text color to let's say white first of all if you are using the background color and also the background image so let's see what happens I'm sure the background image won't appear or background color won't appear because we are using the background image so I'll just uh, I'll just sorry I'll just go to the general setting and remove the background image and then I'll check it There you go. So you can play with uh, all these settings, the styling setting. You can set the model text color, title color, close button background color, which you see here, and the close button hover background color, which you see on the hover. And then uh, the close button color basically is the X color, which you see here is white. You can adjust it. So this is pretty impressive. You have uh, all the small details in your control to change and style as you need. So now let's uh, let's look into the other ways to put models. So this is the one. This is one example where you can directly copy the link from here and put it over here. So there 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 are more examples. Uh, there are more ways to uh, use model and uh, this is explained in the document article as you can see here so now i'm going to try it in a menu uh, in a menu here so let's create a menu first so appearance menu and just uh, main menu create menu and I'll just put this test page and sample page to menu and I'll put a custom link as you can see uh, on the dock here it says appearance menu and we can, we need to create a custom link for 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 the item you need uh, the model box to appear so I'll create a custom link and name it here and name it whatever like uh, uh, like register now and in the URL field I will put in the enter the model ID in the URL so your model ID is available here just copy this and put it in the model URL field here like this and add the open model class you need this class every time this is this will be same in all cases so i'll go to the my menu and first thing i need to you you can add this first and then you need to put the class so the class is for the class you need to first enable the class uh, box uh, you can do this by one second yes see this class so you can do enable the class option by from your screen option click on this and then click on check this box and now you will see a series class option here now you need to put the class here and click save I, i'll i'll set this menu as my main menu so that it appears on top and let's check now all right so register now should open the pop-up let's check bingo this is perfectly working fine so we have checked how to add it as a link and add a menu now let's say you have an image which needs to open a pop-up so let's add an image on the page let's edit the page back and and actually let's edit it with element as most of you are elementary user i'm sure or any page builder user so let's play with elementor first so suppose i have an image here all right so and i can link this image from here to custom url so as same as we did for the menu uh we also need 
the ID to be linked to the custom URL field here I'm sure and and also remember we need a class of this to be added. so we will add this class also on the image and we can add it in the advanced uh, option and go to CSS class option and put this and hit the save button all right and let's test if this is working okay now i should click on this and bingo it's working so the model uh window the model content is enabled by the image now also now let's uh, test it with a button module so we go to the edit page and add a button add a button here and on this again we will we need the id to be linked all right and the class and the class to be added uh, here we can set the styling of the button as you want this is just for demo so clicking this is opening the pop-up as well bingo so everything is uh, perfectly working with elementor uh, by and by default uh, builder so you can play around with uh, uh, with this module and you can set it to open with any 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 uh, any image any uh, the link directly or with the button or with the menu and any way you think of uh, hopefully you just need to make sure what you need to put where so i hope this covers uh, pretty basic stuff and will get you started with the module with the mo with the model window extension and i hope you enjoyed ocean wp is a great theme i enjoy it a lot and i'm i'm really using it with on all my client projects and this model window is really a powerful one so thank you thank you for watching uh, leave me any questions or comments you have i i may try to answer as fast as i can thank you